Sean Hannity recently engaged in a kerfuffle with one of his sponsors, one of the advertisers on his show because the advertiser pulled out following some of Hannity's support for Roy Moore, the Senate candidate in Alabama, who has now been alleged by several women of sexual assault when he was in his 30s and when some of them were minors. Now. Hannity has supported Roy Moore and then later kind of apologized for some of the things that he said. But before doing so, Keurig decided to pull its advertisements from Hannity's show. And then that resulted to a number of you know, Hannity supporters breaking their Keurigs in protest. It was a Keurig boycott, right? Oh, okay, so here's the update to the story. Uh, Keurig has now released a statement and uh, they have kind of apologized, but not really. So I'll get to that in just a second. But Hannity recently called on his fans to stop destroying their Keurig coffee machines after the company's CEO apologized for a tweet publicizing the company's decision to pull ads from Hannity's program. I wanna clarify what this so-called apology is. Now to be clear, Keurig has still pulled its ads from Hannity's show. They're just apologetic about the fact that they publicized it on Twitter. And I'm guessing that they're apologetic because it riled Sean Hannity's fans up more than anything. Look, I get the sponsors are sometimes in a tough spot because you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. That that's their perception because, I mean, if you don't pull ads from Sean Hannity when he appears to be defending a child molester. Uh, and Roy Moore, if you read the details of what he did to the 14 year old girl and the 16 year old girl, it is horrific. Um, well, I mean, then you're gonna catch heat from people saying, why are you giving money to a guy defending a child molester? Then they, they pull the ads and they happen to tweet it publicly like, oh, we're pulling the ads, right? There's a statement saying we're pulling the ads. And then conservatives lose their mind. We love child molesters, why are you doing that? Don't do that. Okay, now to be fair, they're not saying they love child molesters. They just love they a guy just, who defended a child molester, but okay, fine. Okay, whatever. they happen to love Roy Moore. And if you wanna give him all the benefit of the doubt in the world, they're not convinced that Roy Moore is a child molester yet, even though there are credible enough allegations that the almost entire Republican party at the national level has said that they are, are not endorsing him anymore. And, and some have said they won't even seat him if he wins because he's that deeply immoral. So that's not the Democrats, that's the Republicans saying it. But if you're in the group that says, no, nah, I still don't believe all those Republicans, I don't believe the credit, I don't believe anything. Okay, maybe it's not that you're defending child molesters, you just think that it's this is the issue at hand. Anyway, so, but Kerrig and all those guys, this is, look, they smashed the things and Hannity had a great time. And, and, and that's the heart of this story. Yesterday, as I reported to you, he's like, I love it, go get him. And he sent out tweet after tweet saying, smash him, I'm gonna buy you new coffee machines. Yeah. And then today, I'm sure that somebody pulled him in on both his radio show and Fox News and said, hey, hey, hey. Showing, you know, we make most of our money from advertisers. If the minute you get upset with an advertiser, you're telling everybody to smash their product. We're not going to get any new advertisers. Right. So that's what I told you would happen yesterday. And today, that's exactly what happened. So all of a sudden, Hannity in a massive backpedal. So let's take a look at the first video of him backpedaling. A very important message tonight. I'll explain. Please stop smashing your Keurig coffee machines. I'm going to explain how this company was totally exploited. They are actually a victim in all of this. I want to once again thank all of you for your support. It blew me away. But for now, please, please stop destroying your coffee machines. As I've been saying, Keurig, they're a victim in this. As of now, today, before this ever happened this weekend, I have five Keurig machines, five of them. I have never supported a boycott in my life because I know what they're about. They're about censorship. And by the way, I'm not going to start tonight. You fought back. So tonight, now, please, I'm calling for a ceasefire here. I humbly appreciate your support, but I'm asking you to not smash your Keurig. Now, I, as I said, I own five Keurigs. Please stop destroying yours. And by the way, for the people who did, later this week I have a big announcement. I will be giving away 500 coffee makers. Now I'll decide on the brand that I'll be giving away in the coming days based on how things unfold. 
Oh, is it gonna be Keurig? <laughs> oh, so pathetic. I have five, I have five Keurig coffee makers. Please stop smashing them, please, please. I love Keurig, Keurig is the best. Oh my God, please keep advertising with me. By the way, Keurig is, again, they did pull out. They just apologized for publicizing it because in, in the CEO's word, it gave the appearance of taking sides. Yeah, I think that giving the appearance of taking the side against someone who defends a child predator is okay, but nonetheless, whatever, advertisers, finicky bunch. Okay, listen, put aside the politics for a second. Five, five, five of them. No, no, that was just awesome. Because now are you clear on who Sean Hannity works for? Okay, and Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. Oh, I'm tough, I've got principles, I fight every day. And then an advertiser's like, hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm so, I'm so sorry, please, please. I don't want you to break the curries, I want you to caress them. Good Keurig, good Keurig. <laughs> okay, I can find, I can buy 10, I, 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 I smear Keurig coffee all over me. What do you work for, Sean? Oh, you work for your advertisers, right? The corporations who buy ads on, on your, that's okay, that's okay, just be honest about it. Uh, well, now you don't even have to be honest about it, because even if you're a conservative, you saw what happened there. Your tough guy, Sean Hannity, when it touches his pocketbook, not so tough. I don't know, he had a brood awakening. <laughs> Help us build independent media together, tytnetwork.com slash join.